insert generic joke about needing lotion before we begin. Put your pussy lips on live, I'll give you a thousand dollars. What is up, my dudes? It's your boy, Skinny Penis, and I'm back with another one. And today, we kick off our entire month of nothing but slam content with one of my personal favorites, Muramasa. They just dropped a brand new new EP called Fatality, and I wanted to get to this closer to as soon as it dropped, because it dropped on the first, but, you know, sometimes the day job and this don't exactly line up and work well together. So, we get into it now, okay? Okay. But... I've been waiting for this for a while, so we're going to get into it. Now, before we start, I will say I've already reacted to one of the singles. It's the second song on the EP, so I am going to skip that one just for time's sake. Um, but if you want to check that reaction out, it's on the channel. It's not that far back. So, uh, yeah. Links in the description and whatnot down below. The singles, they've put out leading up to this. I didn't react to the last one, but they've all been really solid. Should probably turn it on first. <sighs> Fucking weak, YouTube. You blurred out the corpses. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that snare definitely go pink. Okay. I like that. Kind of sounds underwater. Nice. Just crank it up a little bit. God, that's gross. I see you, Isaiah. The fucking organ? Okay. That's gross.
That's just gross. He could literally be saying anything right now and it'd still be disgusting. Just brutal. Just nasty. Well, that is a hell of a way to open an EP. I'm not going to talk much, okay? Like, uh, we're just going to go ahead and find where the next song begins. And, uh, man, that's a hell of a way to open an EP. It's a little more reserved. A lot of people just kind of, like, they, they put their biggest, like, their biggest, hardest-hitting song right at the beginning. And then, like, that's cool because, you know, it gets you going right in the, in the middle, but it doesn't really leave you a whole lot of room to go. And that song was still good. I really liked it, but it's definitely not one of their most impressive songs. And I've heard Fatality before. So, I mean, as I said, I've already reacted to that. If you want to see the reaction to that, you can go to that video. But it leads perfectly into something that's a little more, like, balls deep, like Fatality. All right, track three, Shuriken Sliced Esophagus. Let's do it. I took this job because I thought you were just a legend. Just a story. A story to scare little kids. But you're the real deal. The demon who dares to challenge God. So what the hell do you want? Don't seem to me like you have to make this stinking world a better place. Some tells me he's not out to make it a better place. Why you gotta kill all my men? Why you gotta kill me? Seemed like the right thing to do. Nothing personal. It's just revenge. I don't know what that vocal style is called, but it's just so nasty every time. Okay. It's like a gurgle and a pig squeal. It's fucking weird. As I said, I'm going to try not to pause much during this. I'm I'm a lot more quiet in this reaction than I have been in other Muramasa stuff. And I just want to share my thoughts real quick because it's not that I'm not digging it. I have found myself a little engrossed in the difference in like the guitar work on this EP so far versus the previous four singles that they've put out. Um, I mean, The Cycle of Hatred Part 1 and 2, they're both dope songs and I love them, but they were definitely finding their sound. Uh, Dragon God of the Sea is kind of when they, they found that, and they just went balls deep with it. And, of course, Ashton was on it, too, and that just made it that much fucking heavier. And then Gojira was, like, more of the straight, like, it was, it was almost like, how do I put this? It was, it was like the heavier side of Muramasa, just the straight brutality that I really dug. This one, like, it, especially the guitars are kind of, venturing further out and they're they're doing a much different style more reminiscent of like uh, early death metal or not early death like early tech death and even like a little bit of black metal elements in my opinion with the the chords they're choosing to use and like the tremolo picking it reminds me of uh those black and death metal bands in the early 90s and uh, or in the late 90s early 2000s um, I could be talking on my ass right now, but that's just my thoughts, and we all know that's why you come here.
I really like the drums on this one. Both hands on that sword if I were you. Punk ass motherfucker! Okay. I don't know what that is, but I love it. Oh, that's cool. I like how it slows down and speeds up so much. <laughs> that snare go ping. They go ping. song while it was heavy and it all got really fast you never really lost the beat i really got to give props to your drummer on that one now before we start this next one i would like to pray for my soul because uh this one is called cranium split in two and this features a uh, d of fucking peeling flesh and luke talbot of uh liquefied i believe is the name of his band um i don't know if i've heard liquefied but i've definitely heard the name luke talbot before I've, I've heard about this guy, and I've yet to hear his music, so I'm scared, but also horny. First of all, don't you think if we keep this up, it's almost certain one of us is going to die? Probably. One of us. Yes. There's no reason we should kill each other. I'm sure there's a reason. That's the only sensible answer, isn't it? Answer this. Oh my god, the beat! Oh, that's gross! It's so galloping. God, the guitar work, man. <coughs> So filthy. It's so gross. I'm sorry, but I was listening to that drum beat. 
and it's so heavy and it's so disgusting. And every time I hear that drum beat, all I can think is boots and cats, boots and cats, boots and cats, boots and cats, boots and cats. <laughs> Memes have ruined me. Oh, man. I don't know what that vocal style's called, but I love it. The sustain on that just... What the fuck? Is that Luke? God, that's monstrous. Hello! What the fuck was that? I need a second after that one. Oh, my face hurts. All right, five guts. I wonder what this one's about. The time has come for the blessing. In this, our final chapter, our final destination. But this is the second to last song. The end of days draw near for our sacred children. Uh -huh. Enjoy this hallowed feast in all its glory. Uh huh. And you, our disciple, you are the chosen one. Naturally. Here and now, appointed by God's own hand. Doubtful. We are your brothers, and you, our new blessed king. Okay. That riff is crunchy. You make some of the weirdest noises, my dude. <laughs> but I love you anyway. A little more caveman-y, but I dig it. That's nasty. My face is genuinely starting to hurt from all the same face.
Oh. That's gross. It's like a gurgly pig squeal into a guttural. One. Watch your ass, or I'll try out my new sword on you something. <coughs> Why not right now? Ah! Fuck around, find out. <laughs> Forget all that formal crap. That's what happens. Coming at me one at a time. I'll take all you bitches on. This is boss music. Oh, they all finna die. Keeps going. for that one.
Okay, first of all, I'd, I'd like to explain myself when I screamed and hit the wall. There was there was a bug, and the music had me feeling especially strong, and, you know, I just decided to fucking, fucking Kyle that shit real quick. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, uh, man. Fatality. That's, this is, a uh... wow, um, there's, there's a lot to... There's a lot to unpack here, and honestly, we don't have time for all of it because it would just make the video way too long. I got a lot of my thoughts out uh, during the video, especially about the guitar work. Um, the drum work on here is phenomenal, as always, and I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to leave the bass player out. You know, I dig your bass tone, homie, especially that little spot in the last song where everything just kind of dropped down. It was just you for a second. It's very, uh, very growled, growly and ballsy, and I, I dig the shit out of that. All Every release Muramasa has had, not only has it been quality, has it been really good, but it's offered a little something new, and I, I feel like, especially Isaiah, you, you push yourself a lot on this one, because I heard you doing some different techniques that you have either not done before or were on other songs but you hadn't really quit pushed yourself quite that far and it was only for brief moments and um that just that speaks to your evolution as a vocalist um honestly man all the vocal styles you do they really fascinate me because i am still newer to slam and uh, you use so many <laughs> and it really gives me a taste of everything which is what i love about it I'd uh, I'd be really really interested in uh, talking with you someday about slam technique, maybe doing like a little interview or something. I'd also be interested in watching like a vocal playthrough of you doing one of these songs all the way through, like a one take vocal track thing. Um, I think that'd be really cool to watch. But uh, man, this this EP is fucking great. It, it's a nice addition to your discography. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like on the video. Go support Muramasa. Check out their shit. And uh, maybe buy that EP while you're at it. Anyway, Skinny Penis out.